this original title that I gave it is, was Ugly Little Girl. And then he said, why don't we call it Love? I started liking it more and more, and then I thought, you're right, this is much better than my title. And I think it remains actual because it is a message of tolerance, understanding, and love. I ran into this uh, um, dedication on a book of Paul Clay, written by a lawyer in Chicago. And I fell in love with the text. And then I said, I am going to build up this book and this uh, change in color moods on this text. I started mimicking a child's handwriting and, uh, and so the book started taking form and I've done it in three days. That's it. That's the origin of, of the book. Still derived from the idea of the cinema, of having one color replacing another color. And the best way that I could think about was to cut out these openings where the next color would appear as a minor element and then when you would turn the page that color would be the dominating element. Each generation had its own tool. Those that were used to, to write with a pen and a ink stand refused to paint with a, with a fountain pen. So, fascinated by the tool and very happy to have it translated into this medium. The imagination of uh, translating into movement what I, at the beginning, conceived as movement. The rendering of the colors was certainly more closer to what I had done than the print images that were sort of reducing it to the basic colors that they could use. To show on the pages a kind of uh, sign of the time, you know, like, like the pages that are a little dirty and a little worn out. This is a sort of a very delicate thing. The fact that it is just a book about love and understanding and tolerating not to withdraw from the different because the different is us. They're all different, they're all the same, which is love. Quite good.